What's up, car friends? This is Stu with Really Cool Videos, and right now I'm tearing up PCH in a black Bentley W12. What? Oh. I just drove the V8 version of this car, and I want to tell you which version I think is better. Ooh, downshift's got a couple pogs from the W12. This is a very quiet car, though. I'm actually probably don't even need to yell this loud, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. The W12 is connected to a six-speed ZF transmission, whereas the GT V8 that I drove last week is connected to the newer eight-speed ZF. And you can tell right off the bat that that eight-speed is a little bit newer, more refined transmission, just slightly smoother shifts. This one, this W12, feels like a brute. A very refined and classy brute, though. <laughs> They're very similar in horsepower. The W12 has 567 and 516 pound-feet of torque, whereas the GTV8 has 528 horsepower and like 506 torque. Um, but it also weighs less because the V8 is only a four liter and this W12 is a six and three quarter liter. That's more than 50% bigger, larger in displacement than the, the V8. Yeah, cooled seats. I can feel it. Sick. You pull the dial down to do cool and you flip it up to do heat. Same dial, that's pretty sweet. That's one of the other things I do love about these Bentley Continental GTs. They're a very normal car. Normal stick shift, pull it all the way back for sport, go right for manual, and then you can you know, go up and down the gears as normal. Some of these newer luxury cars, they try and be so fancy with things, um, like the gear selector and the e-brake, and you get in, you're like, how do I even turn it on and get it into gear? So this is very intuitive and normal, but still extremely high-end, refined, and luxurious. I mean, you feel like a baller in this car, for real. Everything is wrapped in leather. I mean, these door, these sun visors, leather. Headliner, leather. Pillars, leather. Everything is leather in here. Oh, it's not leather in there, but it's it's like carpeted. It's very nice still. I can see now why wealthy people have these cars as their daily. They feel like a normal car, but just a really, really nice normal car. So we're at a stoplight. I think I'm going to slop it over into manual and uh, open this thing up a little bit. Well, a lot of bit. <laughs> Let's see what she's got. Whoa! 60. Whoa, man. <laughs> that is a really big surge of power. Very smooth and linear, but it's just kind of grows and grows. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of torque. You feel a good shove back in the seat, but it's it doesn't like push you back or anything like that. It's just very gradual, so you wouldn't disturb classy date sitting next to you with you know any type of head movements back and forth. The throttle and the braking imports are kind of dumbed down, so it, the car kind of forces you to produce a comfortable riding experience. My wife would love if I had this car because you can drive it fast or swiftly, um, <laughs> but without being jerky, you know? So right now we're in third. Let's pop her down to second. Man. <sighs> That's another Bentley, what's up, baller? Yeah, and riding around Orange County, this car definitely gets noticed. It's an understated class, but people definitely know what it is. Um, it is kind of the anti-Tesla, <laughs> driving around this W12, getting teens in the miles per gallons. While this might not be as fast as a Tesla, it has the interior for sure is much higher end. You cannot mess with this coach built interior, no creaks and rattles, very solid. I mean, the car feels every bit of its over 5,000 pound curb weight. The W12 feels like what you'd expect a Bentley to feel like. Fast, lots of torque, very smooth, very luxurious, but not really sporty. You don't get the sense of the agility. It just still turns and, and drives nice, but it's not really begging to be driven hard. Whereas the GT V8 feels not really like a Bentley. Uh, the V8 is out of an Audi. Whoa, whoa. Get it? <laughs> oh, that Mercedes wanted some. 
racing E55 Mercedes on in Orange County. What's up with this guy? <laughs> oh, he's drinking a soda too. <laughs> but the GTV8 Bentley feels more like a sports car. That would be the one you would want for a back road or a canyon road. The W12 you want if you're going to be doing long cruises, dailying, you don't really care about sporty driving. Um, for example, if I was going to get my wife a Bentley, I'd get her this one. If I was going to get myself a Bentley, I'd get the GTV8. Hands down. No question about it. She would prefer this car, except the gas mileage, and <laughs> I would definitely prefer the GTV8. Now, that being said, this car is cheaper. Um, this car is a 2012, 17,000 miles, and is being offered at like 112 grand at Class Auto Corp, where I'm uh, borrowing these cars from. So big thanks to them for letting me borrow both these cars. And be sure to check out their website for their awesome inventory. But the W12 is like 30 grand cheaper. But the GTV8, it, it does feel like a newer car based on the drivetrain. The drivetrain feels newer, sportier, more refined. It's essentially like an RS7 drivetrain in a Bentley Continental. So, and it feels that way. Where this feels like a big German sled that you want to just take out on the Autobahn and chew up the miles. Uh, man, torque monster. This thing feels torquier than the V8. I know the torque numbers are very similar, but feeling wise, you'd guess that this had like 70 more torque than the V8. Interiors are identical. The V8 he has has red stitching. It's really nice. I love this diamond quilted stitching. It's like the, one of the best things about this car is the interior. It's insulated. Um, now again, I did like the GT V8 because it had a little bit more of an exhaust note. Right now we're just tooling along having a nice little cruise, and this car is perfect for it. Absolutely comfortable, really nice armrest. I love that the big B button is what you use to press and shift between gears. It's just very intuitive and normal design. You feel at home, you feel comfortable, you feel like you know what's going on. It has all wheel drive, so it has excellent traction. I wasn't able to make the tires on either of these cars make any noise ever. There's a huge amount of grip. Um, this one's been upgraded. It's got some uh, sweet Giovanna GNL wheels. Um, that really take this black Bentley Continental just one step up. Danny at Class Auto also had all the chrome trim around this vehicle blacked out. So with the black wheels and the black trim, this thing is just stealth. And the full black interior. Oh, and the leather is just so nice. You just want to kind of rub it. <laughs> it's a very, very nice place to be. I don't want this little drive to end. Um, this is one of those cars where you pull up, when you get home after being in the car for over an hour and you just sit in the car and you listen to the rest of the song because you're comfortable, you know? When you get in this car, you've already arrived. And that sounds cheesy and cliche, but that is totally true. This car is baller and I love it. Woo! A big thanks to Danny at Class Auto. Please check out his website. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop a thumbs up if you made it this far in the video. Until next time, have a great day. Oh, yeah. Follow!